Hi everyone, it's Nectaria again with Soapistication, and I'm here with such a fun soap today. So somebody asked me to do a polka dot soap. Her shower curtain is from The Hungry Caterpillar, and it has all those little polka dots like you see in that book, The Hungry Caterpillar. Actually, this is what it came out to be, and it's so much fun. Like, how fun is that? I absolutely love this one. Mm, I love the fragrance. Anyhow, one day I made some soap dough and then I rolled those into those polka dots, uh, into the balls that would make those polka dots. And then it moves into the main soap where I actually put the polka dots into the soap. So the little bit of a difference in this video <laughs> is that I left some actual audio in from when I made the soap. So you'll see kind of... Um, <laughs> <laughs> how I entertain myself sometimes when I am uh, making soap. So I hope you enjoy it. It's just a little bit of a uh, little fun kind of thing that I find amusing when I watch it. Uh, I hope that you enjoy it as well. Uh, if you like this video and you enjoy watching it, you can feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do try to release videos every Friday. And if you like this video, please click the like button below. Any comments are always appreciated and um, I hope everybody is staying well and I will see you in the next video. Come on in and I'll show you how I made this soap. These are the embeds that I made. So essentially I just made some soap and before it can really start curing and release its water and get too hard, I just take it and kind of shape it into these little balls. And I was going for multiple sizes so that I could have multiple polka dots in this soap. If you don't wanna watch me rolling all this soap into balls, you can feel free to fast forward to about 2.45 in this video. made this mold out of foam board and that is because I was asked to make a soap that is a little bit thinner than my regular soap. The embeds are scented with 8th and Ocean fragrance oil from Nurture Soap and now it's time to work on the main soap where I also added some Tessa silk fibers to the water that I was going to add the lye to. Now safety first, let's wet our gloves, goggles, mask and we're ready now that we're in our safety gear we can make our lye solution now when you add the lye to the water it makes it very hot so sometimes what i like to do is have a bowl of ice water or this is just cold water that i can put the lye solution in to just keep it from continuing to get hot and now we can take off our safety gear because that lye solution has been put to the side to cool down while we prepare the oils. Now some of the oils are solid at room temperature and so I melt them and thought I found this awesome find at the dollar store that would help keep me from burning my hands, but let's see how this works out. Maybe on the small ones it'll work. No. What a 
waste. Oh well. Time to work with that lye solution again, so we put our goggles back on. So as you can see here, this soap batter looks a little bit green and I wanted it white, but that extra virgin olive oil just keeps it that kind of green color. So I added some titanium dioxide. It wasn't getting as white as I wanted, so I had to kind of go back and add some more. But that titanium dioxide was dispersed in the extra virgin olive oil. So I had to go back and use a different titanium dioxide that I had dispersed in light olive oil. And now we add our polka dots. And actually, I should have added a lot more than what I put in here. I was worried about running out near the top, but you will see that at the top I had too many, so I had to really push them down to get them uh, further in there so I could really use all of the embeds. Um, as you see the finished product, you'll see that there's fewer polka dots at the bottom and more at the top. And so next time, if I were to do this again, I would definitely add more polka dots at the bottom. see I ran out of batter and I still got polka dots to go let's see what I can do
Now when I made the embeds, I actually had extra soap left over, so I made these cute little guest soaps. 